Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny Z's Cars. Today I'm show this 2010 Mitsubishi Galant Sportback that just came in. It's got 98,000 kilometers on it, which is right at 61,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way, okay? So with that, let's go ahead and take a look around. We'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, the road tax, the warranty, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end. You'll have all the answers. If not, contact me or stop on by. This Galant Sport Pack is a five-passenger vehicle in the uh, 300 series category, so the larger, categ uh, larger uh, category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April-May time frame, so we'll take care of it for you this time. You won't have to worry about it until next April-May. They do have two ways to pay, pay for it. First one being U.S. dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers put like 500 uh, to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I always like showing rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you can even that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor, okay? With that, let's go ahead and jump inside. Like I said, it's just coming in, so it's going to be a little dirty. Okay, so keyless on your person, okay? And then you just uh, crank it on over. Okay, now if this battery dies in the key fob, there is a key that comes out, and then you can slide this in there just by pulling this cap off, okay? Well, let's leave that right up there. Squeeze this in here. All right, 98,000. 98,247 on the odometer. Turn a couple of warning lights. Uh, that one on the right, obviously your seatbelt one, make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. The one to the left of that, that circular one is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. And this one is a hand brake, so when you disengage it goes away, engage it comes right on back. On that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off to the left here, you do have your radio. Oops, this one does have a rear camera. You have your air conditioning controls, little pocket under, or little pocket over here, and then a, ash, or a non ashtray and um, power outlet. Your shifter, handbrake as I told you about, cup holders, and then a little armrest slash uh, console that's going to give you just a little extra space. Continuing to the left, we have your glove box, and then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red roof flare hanging out. And this is the space I have on my side. I have 5.11 as everybody loves knowing. Let me adjust this. Okay. Um, I could drive like this or slide it up a couple inches and still be comfortable driving. All right. That's my eye lover right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. This AC is cranking. Now, normally, uh, this is the time I show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Non-accident vehicle from mainland. Uh, all these other dealers out here can't say that. We can for uh, all, every single car. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office. Once it's been detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see for yourself. All right, so let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. Uh, you do have your, your hood release right here. And then please don't forget, uh, down here is your gas cover release. And then on the door panel, you do have your mirror controls and your uh, window controls. And this will control the door locks right from there. All right, so let's show this, turn this off. It does have paddle shifts as well. If you need a little extra uh, power, get it up a hill or whatnot. All right, here's your rear space. Hopefully you see that. I got a huge glare in my in my face. Ah, right at me, the sun. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm about an inch away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you do have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it. And then just a little bit of storage on each door panel. And then it does have a center armrest that's going to give you two cup holders. All right. Let's go to the back. And again, this is the sport back edition. So this is the hatchback instead of the regular trunk. Which is actually pretty cool. Look at this thing. A lot of room in here. Now this one, I believe you can lift up. And just have it like that. Okay, nice and flat. And then those two seats... By pushing the button here and over there, you can lay those down flat, and this privacy cover can come out. All right, so just really nice amount of space. 
I'll show you the engine compartment. They're going to wrap this video up. Come on. Boy, they barely give you any space. Slide your fingers in there. All right, and there you go. This is a 1.8 liter uh, engine, which is going to uh, get clean during the detailing process. And it's got the very aggressive front grill. So there you have it. Uh, 2010 Mitsubishi Galant Sportback. 98,000 kilometers on it, which is 61,000 miles. Military price goes down to 6,000. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,800. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price for this. But for now, the 5,800 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2022 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. The only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going with liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on the warranties out here, yes, there are two year warranties out here. However, they're not the best things since sliced bread. Stop by, we'll, we'll explain why. Uh, so don't be fooled by them. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have. But definitely stop by Johnny's Used Cars. Let us show what we have, what our program is all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop on by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget, two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright. We're taking advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.